Hi everyone and welcome to RGB Tech. In this video, we're going to talk about how to back up your Windows 11 operating system. In this video, we're going to talk about a software in particular, which is called Mini Tool Shadow Maker. Mini Tool Shadow Maker also has a free version that you can use and back up your Windows 11 operating system, whether that would be a system partition or some files or even your whole operating system. In this video, we're going to talk about that. Simply click on free download. Once you install the software, of course, the installation process is really simple. And here we go. We are onto the main interface. There are a lot of options. The interface of the software is really intuitive. Basically, if you in the home tab, you're going to notice some information about your system. Of course, I have multiple partitions on this laptop. And the backup source section, we can see our partitions. Last backup, the next backup, and also available restore images. We have the backup section where we can start selecting the source and the destination of our backup. Also sync, which will basically allow us to sync different files from different locations. Restore option. Of course, in this section, you'll be able to restore a backup and also manage where you can manage backups. If you add a certain backup, of course, logs and also additional tools like Media Builder, Add Bit Menu, Dismount, Clone Disk, PXE, Remote and System Booster. Now for the beginning of the video. We're just going to do a backup and we're going to select the source. I'm going to select folders and files, the partition that I'm right now on. Here I will choose my files. These include some of my important files. Just going to back up this files folder so that the process won't take that long. Click on OK. We have the file here and let's select the destination. Of course, destination should be an external hard drive, maybe an USB. It's not recommended to back up anything on the same computer but I'm just going to back everything up on another partition. Here you have some additional options. If you click on options, you also can compress things if you want and you can. Also click on schedule settings, just turn it on. And then you can schedule it for daily or weekly, monthly, or also on event. And basically you can select an event what you want to back up. You can also set time or start every time by hours. Now I'm just going to uncheck this, click on okay. And then you also have the backup later thing. Anyways, I'm just going to click on backup now and then click on OK. As you can see right now, the backup will start. We're just going to have to wait for this backup to be finished. As you can see, the files successfully got backup. If we click on it, we're going to have some additional options. You can delete, verify, browse, restore, mount, edit, schedule, edit scheme, and locate image. Let's, for example, click on verify and see if everything is OK. As you can see, everything is okay. The files are verified now. After we've done the backup, we have, of course, more options. We have the logs where you can see what we've backed up. If everything was successful and it was also on the home screen, we're going to be able to see the last backup that we've done. Now, of course, if you want to restore a backup, for example, if your file was deleted or something like that, you can just go into the home section and go into the available restore images and then restore now and then you're going to see this file that is available to restore. Then you can click on restore, next, next, and the destination path, of course, where you wanna save it, restore. Here we go, the files got restored. Let me show you. This is my path I set to the destination. In the same way, I will do another backup. Simply, I will select my source download folder. and the destination to my other drive. And yep, it's done. And here we go to logs. I think overall the software is really simple to use and it being free, of course, allows you to do a backup of your system for free, as I've said. Let's now check out the additional tools that they have. We have Media Builder. If we click on it, you're going to notice that we have WinPE-based Media Driver with Minitool plugin which will allow us to create media that will be inserted in our Windows boot menu. Also, we can add it to our boot menu, of course, if we want. We also have the option to dismount clone disk, which is also a pretty interesting thing, which we can do to clone our Windows disks if we want. And you also have some additional disk clone options, new disk and also disk clone mode. You can do this by use sector clone or sector by sector clone, which will basically copy all your sectors. PXE is a feature that only works in the mini tool Shadow Maker Pro version and remote as well. And also, System Booster is an additional app that you need to install if you want to use it. But as I've said overall, mini tool Shadow Maker is a very good free backup tool that you can use in Windows. 
and you can use it. As I've said, to back up your whole system, a partition individual files and so on, I think it's pretty useful. And also you have the additional tools that you can use, Media Builder, the boot menu, and also dismounting this alongside with Clone Disk. Make sure to check out Mini Tool Shadow Maker from the description below. And of course, check it out for yourself. See if it's the perfect backup software for you. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe. Thanks for watching.